Hi, how are you doing? This is Analysis by Doing. I'm Manu Vasudevan, Data Analyst and Certified AWS Solutions Architect at your service. Welcome to Analysis by Doing, a series of data analysis sessions in which we do hands-on projects analyzing data using Amazon Web Services. The target audience is aspiring data analysts and AWS cloud enthusiasts. What good is any knowledge when not put to good use? We will exercise our AWS skills on the terrain of data science. Join us in our data analytics journey in the vehicle of Amazon Web Services. Welcome to the session on survey data analysis. We will review our portfolio website before the survey data analysis project. Create a new environment for survey data analysis in our Analysis EC2 instance. Download a real-world survey dataset from Stack Overflow on which we will perform the following analyses and visualizations. Read in the dataset, data munging and wrangling, developer profile which includes the following, key territories, professional experience, developer roles, education levels, demographics, and verify our numbers with Stack Overflow every step of the way. Then update index.html to publish our survey data analysis project. We will upload the new survey data analysis project file to the S3 portfolio bucket. We will then review our updated portfolio website after the survey data analysis project. Next, we will stop but not terminate the analysis EC2 instance. Finally, we will perform best practices, review our billing dashboard and budget alarm. <laughs> To keep us motivated to produce more of such high quality free content, please subscribe to this channel, hit the like button below, leave a comment or two, and share this video with your colleagues, friends, and other budding cloud analysts. Hit the bell icon below to actively follow along with the rest of our series. Write the schema data frame to an XLS file, key in the code schema underscore df dot two underscore excel within parentheses within quotes data slash survey underscore results underscore schema dot xlsx comma index equals none comma header equals true then hit alt and enter press control s to save your notebook open a new tab in the chrome browser open file explorer Navigate to the folder C colon Users Administrator ABD Portfolio 1 Project 6 Data. Click and drag the schema spreadsheet survey underscore results underscore schema dot XLSX in the new browser tab. Close any pop up windows. Expand the question and the force resp columns. Go back to the Jupyter Notebook. Press Escape and then M to make the new cell a markdown cell. In the new cell, click and key in two hashtags about the data. The survey was fielded from May 25th, 2021 to June 15th, 2021. The survey data file was cleaned by Stack Overflow. However, we will need to clean the schema files data. Then hit Alt and Enter. Press Escape and then M to make the new cell a markdown cell. In the new cell, click and key in two hashtags, two dot data munging. Then hit Alt and Enter. We need to reformat the question column in the schema data frame to a single line of searchable text. Thanks to Stack Overflow and its contributors for this code. Import the regex module. Key in the code. Import RE. Tag underscore RE in all caps equals RE dot compile within parentheses R 
within single quotes, within angle brackets, within brackets, caret top, and right angle bracket. Then hit Alt and Enter. Compile a regex reference object to identify HTML tags. Define a function to remove HTML tags. It will replace line breaks and consecutive spaces and new lines with a single space. It will also replace and ampersand with the and symbol. Key in the code. Def remove tags within parentheses text colon text equals text dot replace within parentheses within quotes line break comma space within quotes text equals space within quotes dot join within parentheses text dot split function text equals text dot replace within parentheses within quotes and amp semicolon comma and symbol within quotes return tag underscore re dot sub within parentheses null within quotes comma text then hit alt and enter create an empty text variable delimited by triple quotes key in the code text equals triple quotes backslash backslash triple quotes text then hit alt and enter the backslash merely prevents adding new lines between the triple quotes test the function with the cell value containing multiple new lines for example, row 1. Go to the schema spreadsheet in the adjoining tab. Click on the question cell in row 1. Press Ctrl A to copy the contents of the cell and paste it in the code cell between the triple quotes right before the second backslash. Then hit Alt and Enter. Note that the text contains a lot of obfuscating HTML tags. Run the text through the Remove Tags function. Key in the code remove tags within parentheses text then hit alt and enter the text is definitely more readable and searchable now create an empty text variable delimited by triple quotes key in the code text equals triple quotes backslash backslash triple quotes text again the backslash merely prevents adding new lines between the triple quotes test the function with the cell value containing embedded html tags and the line break, for example, row 47. Go to the schema spreadsheet. Copy the question cell in row 47. Return to the notebook. Paste it to the code cell between the triple quotes. Then hit Alt and Enter. Note that the text contains HTML tags, including the line break tag. Run the text through the remove tags function. Key in the code, remove tags, within parentheses, text. Then hit Alt and Enter. A period after questions would have been perfect, but we can work without it. Create an empty text variable delimited by triple quotes. Key in the code, text equals triple quotes, backslash backslash triple quotes text again the backslash merely prevents adding new lines between the triple quotes test the function with a cell value containing html markup for example row number 35 go to the schema spreadsheet copy the question cell in row number 35 Return to the notebook document. Paste it to the code cell between the triple quotes. Then hit Alt and Enter. Note the HTML tag for the ampersand symbol. Run the text through the remove tags function. Key in the code. Remove tags within parentheses text. Then hit Alt and Enter. The Q and AMP semicolon A has been replaced with Q and A. Apply the remove tags function to the question column in the schema data frame. Key in the code schema underscore df within brackets within quotes question equals schema df within brackets within quotes question dot apply within parentheses remove tags schema underscore df within brackets within quotes question. Then hit alt and enter. 
there seems to be some surplus spaces in the values. Apply the remove tags function again to the question column in the schema data frame. Key in the code schema df within brackets question equals schema df within brackets question dot apply within parentheses remove tags schema df within brackets question then hit alt and enter. Now the question column seems to be reduced to a single line of text displayed right justified. Check out the wrangled schema data frame. Key in the code schema df then hit alt and enter. Note that the text within the question column is much more readable and searchable. Close the Schema Spreadsheet Browser tab. Create a general purpose function to input a search text. Compose a query string. Search for the text in the question column of the schema data frame and return the relevant rows. Key in the code def look where within parentheses search str colon query string format column name dot str dot contains within parentheses text to search comma case equals false query string equals question dot str dot contains within parentheses search string comma case equals false return schema df dot query within parentheses query string comma engine equals python then hit alt and enter Press Ctrl S to save your notebook. Now that we have read in the dataset and wrangled the data, let's analyze and visualize the developer profile. First, we'll look at the key territories. Press Escape and then M to make the new cell a markdown cell. In the new cell, click and key in two hashtags, three, developer profile what we know about the global community of developers. Then hit Alt and Enter. Press Escape and then M to make the new cell a markdown cell. In the new cell, click and key in two hashtags, A, key territories. Then hit Alt and Enter. Go to the Dashboard tab of Jupyter Notebook. You will be in the folder ABD Portfolio 1 slash Project 6. Click the Data folder. Click on the SO survey 2021pdf to open it in another tab of the browser. Look in the survey PDF page 3 under location. Copy the relevant question, where do you live, into the clipboard buffer. Assign the copied text to the search string. Key in the code search str equals where do you live within quotes search str then hit alt and enter we need to find which column in the results data set contains the answer call the look where function with the search string key in the code look where within parentheses search string then hit alt and enter we need to work with the country column in the survey data frame Extract the country column in the survey data frame to a separate series. Key in the code country series equals survey df within brackets country dot copy function country series. Then hit alt and enter. Create a data frame with the sorted value counts in the country column. Key in the code territory df equals pd dot data frame within parentheses country series dot value counts function dot reset index function territory df, then hit alt and enter. We need to fix the column headings. Rename the columns of the territory data frame. Key in the code territory df dot columns equals within brackets country comma responses territory df, then hit alt and enter. Add a percentage column to the territory data frame. Key in the code territory df within brackets percentage equals np dot round within parentheses territory df dot responses divided by sum of territory df dot responses times 100 comma 2 territory df then hit alt and enter list out the top 10 countries represented in the survey key in the code territory df dot head within parentheses 10 then hit alt and enter many respondents are from the US 
India, and Germany. Press Escape and then M to make the new cell a markdown cell. In the new cell, click and key in two hashtags verify with Stack Overflow. Click a reference to the stackoverflow.com's key territories country page target equals underscore blank here to verify with Stack Overflow. Then hit Alt and Enter. Click on the link to go to Stack Overflow's analysis page and verify the numbers. Note that the numbers match closely. Then close the new browser tab. Draw a horizontal bar chart of the top 10 countries represented in the survey by responses. Key in the code. Set the fig size to 12,8. X equals SNS.barplot within parentheses data equals territory df dot head within parentheses 10 comma x equals responses comma y equals country for i in x dot containers colon x dot bar label within parentheses i plt dot title within parentheses stack overflows top 10 respondent countries then hit alt and enter the for loop displays the numbers for each bar in the graph Draw a pie chart of the top 10 countries represented in the survey by percentages. Key in the code territory pi df equals territory df dot head within parentheses 10 dot set index function country. Territory pi df dot plot dot pi within parentheses fix size equals within parentheses 8 comma 5 comma y equals percentage comma auto pct equals within single quotes percentage sign dot 2f percentage sign percentage sign comma legend equals false plt dot title within parentheses stack overflows top 10 respondent countries then hit alt and enter the parameter auto pct shows the percentage for each piece of the pie press escape and then m to make the new cell a markdown cell in the new cell click and key in Three hashtags states within the United States, then hit Alt and Enter. What is the response representation among the states within the United States? Look in the survey PDF page 3 under location. Copy the relevant question, in which state or territory of the USA do you live, into the clipboard buffer. Assign the copied text to the search string. Key in the code search str equals in which state or territory of the USA do you live? Search str. Then hit Alt and Enter. We need to find which column in the results data set contains the answer. Call the look where function with the search string. Key in the code look where within parentheses search str. Then hit Alt and Enter. We need to work with the U.S. State column in the survey data frame. Extract the U.S. State column in the survey data frame to a separate series. Key in the code. U.S. Series equals survey df within brackets U.S. State dot drop na function dot copy function U.S. Series. Then hit Alt and Enter. Since this question is not force response true, meaning optional answer, we dropped rows with invalid responses. Create a data frame with the sorted value counts in the US state column. Key in the code. USDF equals PD dot data frame within parentheses US series dot value counts function dot reset index function. USDF. Then hit Alt and Enter. We need to fix the column headings. Rename the columns of the US data frame. Key in the code. USDF dot columns equals within brackets US state comma responses USDF then hit alt and enter add a percentage column to the US data frame key in the code USDF within brackets percentage equals NP dot round within parentheses USDF dot responses divided by sum of USDF dot responses times 100 comma 2 USDF then hit alt and enter. The top states contributing respondents are the four border states of California, Texas, New York, and Washington. 
Press Escape and then M to make the new cell a markdown cell. Click and key in two hashtags, verify with Stack Overflow. Click a reference to the stackoverflow.com's key territories country US page, target equals underscore blank, here to verify with Stack Overflow. Then hit Alt and Enter. Click on the link to go to Stack Overflow's analysis page and verify the numbers. We have exact matches. Then close the new browser tab. Draw a horizontal bar chart of the top 10 US states represented in the survey by responses. Key in the code. Set the fix size to 12 comma 8. Ax equals SNS dot bar plot within parentheses data equals USDF dot head within parentheses 10 comma X equals responses comma Y equals US state. For I in Ax containers colon Ax dot bar label within parentheses I. PLT dot title within parentheses stack overflows top 10 US states. Then hit Alt and enter. The Californian Silicon Valley is living up to its name. Draw a pie chart of the top U.S. states represented in the survey by percentages. Key in the code U.S. Pi DF equals USDF dot head within parentheses 10 dot set index within parentheses U.S. state. U.S. Pi DF dot plot dot pi within parentheses set the fix size to 8 comma 8 comma y equals percentage, comma auto PCT equals within single quotes, percentage signs, dot 2f, percentage sign, percentage sign, comma legend equals false. Then hit alt and enter. Note that the percentages show share within the top 10 states, adding up to 100%. Press control S to save your notebook. Now that we have analyzed the key territories of Stack Overflow survey respondents, we'll look at their professional experience. Press Escape and then M to make the new cell a markdown cell. In the new cell, click and key in two hashtags B experience, then hit Alt and Enter. Press Escape and then M to make the new cell a markdown cell. In the new cell, click and key in three hashtags, writing that first line of code. Then hit Alt and Enter. Look in the survey PDF, page 4, under Education, Work, and Career. Copy the relevant question, at what age did you write your first line of code or program, into the clipboard buffer. Assign the copied text to the search string. Key in the code search str equals at what age did you write your first line of code or program? Search str. Then hit Alt and Enter. We need to find which column in the results dataset contains the answer. Call the look where function with the search string. Key in the code look where within parentheses search str. Then hit Alt and Enter. We need to work with the age first code column in the survey data frame. Extract the age first code column in the survey data frame to a separate series. Key in the code age first series equals survey df within brackets age first code dot drop and a function dot copy function age first series. Then hit alt and enter. Since this question is not force response true, meaning optional answer, we dropped rows with invalid responses. Create a data frame with the sorted value counts in the age first code column. Key in the code age first df equals pd dot data frame within parentheses age first series dot value counts function dot reset index function age first df. Then hit alt and enter. We need to fix the column headings. Rename the columns of the age first data frame. Key in the code age first df dot columns equals within brackets age first code comma responses age first df then hit alt and enter 
A shout out to the respondents over 64 years. Age is no object. Add a percentage column to the age first data frame. Key in the code age first df within brackets percentage equals round within parentheses age first df dot responses divided by sum of age first df dot responses times 100 comma 2. Age first df. Then hit alt and enter. Press escape and then M to make the new cell a markdown cell. In the new cell, click and key in two hashtags, verify with Stack Overflow. Click a reference to stackoverflow.com's developer profile experience page, target equals underscore blank, here to verify with Stack Overflow. Then hit Alt and Enter. Click on the link to go to Stack Overflow's analysis page and verify the numbers. Once again, our numbers are an exact match. Close the new browser tab. Draw a horizontal bar chart of the age first code represented in the survey by responses. Key in the code. Set the fig size to 12 comma 8. Ax equals SNS dot bar plot within parentheses data equals age first DF dot head within parentheses 10 comma X equals responses comma Y equals age first code. For i in ax.containers, colon, ax.bar label, within parentheses, i. plt.title, within parentheses, stack overflow respondents age brackets. Then hit alt and enter. Draw a pie chart of the top age first code represented in the survey by percentages. Key in the code, age first pi df equals age first df dot head, within parentheses, 10 dot set index within parentheses age first code age first pi df dot plot dot pi within parentheses set the fix size to 16 comma 16 comma y equals percentage comma auto pct equals within single quotes percentage dot 2f percentage sign percentage sign comma legend equals false plt dot title within parentheses Stack Overflow Respondents Age Brackets. Then hit Alt and Enter. Press Escape and then M to make the new cell a markdown cell. In the new cell, click and key in three hashtags learning how to code. Then hit Alt and Enter. <music> to keep us motivated to produce more of such high quality free content, Please subscribe to this channel, hit the like button below, leave a comment or two, and share this video with your colleagues, friends, and other budding cloud analysts. Hit the bell icon below to actively follow along with the rest of our series.